Hello and welcome to SharePoint Pittsburgh. My name is Caroline and I will be introducing you to lesson one. Today's lesson will answer three things. What is SharePoint? How do I learn SharePoint? And today's lesson, lesson one, getting started. So what is SharePoint? We'll be using Microsoft SharePoint 2010. As defined by Microsoft, SharePoint is a collaboration platform. What does that mean? Well, you'll get to see for yourself. But for now, it's portals, document management, records management, and a lot of things that make your business more productive and organized. Follow along and you'll see for yourself. So how do we learn SharePoint? We practice. You'll need your own SharePoint site in order to practice all the lessons we'll be teaching. So we'll be providing a login or downloadable package available courtesy of Nextara at www.nextara.com. So let's get to today's lesson. Lesson one, getting started. We'll be creating a fictitious company called Happy Scoops. We'll be first logging into SharePoint, going over basic navigation, creating new sites and subsites, changing themes, and creating a list and adding columns. So let me hand this over to Leo, who will be teaching you today's lesson. Thank you, Caroline. Hello, everyone. I'm going to be teaching you the, today's first lesson. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and open your browser and go to your SharePoint site. Okay, and then it's going to ask you to, uh, to log in. So go ahead and put your username and password. And again, if, if you don't have this yet, uh, uh, Nextstar is actually going to be helping us provide a uh, free downloadable package, which you'll be able to download right to your PC, or uh, you'll actually be able to log directly into a website. But for now, just go ahead and follow along. Okay, so now that we've logged into uh, SharePoint 2010, uh, the first thing you see is this big blank site here. So. For now, uh, we're going to go ahead and just talk about the navigation. We're just going to call this the top links bar and the side links bar. There's a, a few different names you can call it, and it depends on what type of version you have for SharePoint. But for now, all intents and purposes, this is going to be the top links bar, and this is going to be the side links bar. So the first thing we want to do is create a new site. Uh, as Caroline mentioned, this is for a fictitious company called Happy Scoops. So we're going to create a stores uh, page. So we go ahead and click uh, Site, new, uh, Site Actions, and then we're going to go to New Site. And when this page pops up, you'll see a bunch of different templates which actually assist you in building the site. Um, for right now, we're just going to go with a blank site. Uh, put the title in, it will be Stores. And then the URL name, which will be Stores also. And go ahead and hit Create. Okay. Now, you'll notice um, this doesn't seem like much has changed except for this stores. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and navigate up uh, to the very root of uh, to the home. And you'll notice now that we have a new link here. Well, this looks somewhat confusing for me. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click on stores and we're going to change its theme. Uh, basically, the theme is its look and feel. So we'll go to site settings and then again, look and feel and then click on site theme. Okay, now there's a bunch of different uh, themes that we can pick from. So let's just figure out something that it, uh, it looks ice cream-ish. Alright, I like the Grappello personally, so we'll go with that. Okay, and then we'll go back up to the top and, and we'll be able to see the difference. See how this is just like it was before and now when we click stores it's definitely different so that way we won't get confused. Okay, now what we're going to do, now that we've changed the theme, is we're going to create two subsites under the store site. So we'll do site actions, new site. We're going to go with a blank site again, and this one will be Mars. And no, that's not like the planet. We actually live uh, somewhere, uh, and our office is located uh, in a place called Mars. And then hit create. And then we're going to go back up so we create the uh, subsite under stores. In our other location, we're going to go ahead, new site, 
and this is actually where I live. It's called Cranberry. Yeah, so we've got some goofy names. Cranberry Township, technically. And then we're going to go ahead and type in Cranberry here. Oh, you know what? i got to click blank site first. And then hit uh, Create. Okay. So now if we go back up and navigate to the stores, we'll see two different locations now. So now what we want to do is we're going to create uh, what's called a list. So we'll go ahead and hit Site Actions, and this time we're going to go somewhere different. It's going to go, we're going to go to More Options, and then on the left here you'll see a bunch of different options. We're going to go ahead and filter by list type, and there's a list uh, it could be calendars, uh, project, Gantt charts, all kinds of stuff. But for right now, we're just going to do a uh, create a custom list, and we'll call it uh, Store Locations. We'll go ahead and hit Create here. And now we're we're on our we're at our list. Now if we go ahead and add a new item to our list, the only thing here is title. I, I want much more than that. So what we're gonna do, just like in Excel or uh, Access, we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a column. So we'll go ahead up here and click Create Column. So let's see what we, what do we want to know about our store locations. Well, the first thing we're gonna want to know is who, who's our manager. So we'll go ahead and add a manager will be a single line of text description we'll type in manager manager's name and then we'll just go ahead and click OK here and later on in, in further lessons we're going to talk about all of this stuff here but for now again just follow along so now that we have manager we want to go up um, and create another column we'll call this address and then just Go ahead and click OK one more time. And for our last column, we're going to actually uh, add the website. And instead of uh, picking a single line of text, we're actually going to pick a hyperlink this time. The website. OK, and then hit OK. All right, now when we click Add New Item, we'll see some new options in here. So the first thing we're going to do is type in uh, Let's see Mars location. The manager will be Candy Caroline. The address will be 404 Milky Way. And for this, we'll go ahead and type uh, yummy in my tummy.com. And this will be Mars location website. Then hit save. And we'll go ahead and add another item. This will be uh, cranberry let's see, location candy sue address 101 yummy street and www.candycanelane.com cranberry location. Okay, and then hit save. So now you'll notice that we actually have two entries in here. Uh, one thing that I'm going to show you right now and, and we'll get uh, working with later is we're in the standard view now. If we click the data sheet view, it'll actually probably look pretty familiar and you'll notice it, it looks like an Excel or an, an Access um, spreadsheet or database and we, we can actually edit multiple items right there. But for right now, we're just going to work with the standard view. Okay, and thank you for joining us today. That pretty much wraps up what we wanted to talk about. Uh, we're going to be trying to post these weekly, so if you really want to start learning SharePoint, uh, our goal is to provide a new lesson every, uh, every week. Um, and again, uh, we're going to be covering from, from the user standpoint, uh, from the install installer standpoint, and then finally from the, the developer standpoint. So we're going to be learning pretty much as much as you possibly can about SharePoint. So again, thank you for joining us and uh, stay tuned for our next lesson.